What is going on everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're gonna go over if HubSpot is gonna be a good solution for small businesses. We're gonna be doing a deep dive into HubSpot and we're gonna be covering its features and even pricing to see exactly if it's gonna be right fit for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, before we jump into the platform, let's first define what is HubSpot. HubSpot is gonna be one centralized CRM that allows you guys to keep all you guys' company records, contact records, and deals all in one place. So in this case, think of the HubSpot CRM as the mitochondria of the cell and to the CRM, there could be multiple hubs attached to it and they have their own unique features. So for example, and those features greatly range all the way from marketing to sales, service, content, operations, so on and so forth. So depending on what you guys use it for and all of those hubs live on top of the CRM and that way for any type of marketing we're doing, all the information that lives inside of a CRM can be used to personalize it further. And that same logic can be applied for sales, operations, depending on what you guys use it for. Because at the end of the day, the goal of HubSpot's platform is to take someone that has never Ever interacted with you guys this website before right someone that's completely anonymous and be able to track their entire journey all the way from them becoming a prospect to a client and later promoter of you guys's brand and all those interactions like link clicks or communications with you guys a sales team can live all within the HubSpot's platform making it much easier for everybody to see exactly what's going on now you may be asking yourself how does this whole thing look like in action so let's go ahead and jump into a HubSpot portal now once we're inside of the HubSpot portal there's gonna be a navigation bar on the left hand side here with all the different options for us and they range from CRM to marketing to content to commerce to automations or even reporting now let's go ahead and see how things look like at the very basic level so if we go to the company records and we open up one of them up we're gonna see all the information regarding that specific company like domain name industry who the company owner is the type of company it is the city state region so all of the information you guys are seeing in front of you can be customized depending on what you guys are looking for and the way to do that is to either press actions right over here and go to customize property or we'll go to the settings option here where you can actually customize the whole company record and the way it looks like. And you can do the exact same thing for the contact record or the deal record accordingly. But for the company record, all of you guys' communication with that specific company is gonna be listed right over here down the middle and you guys can go ahead and filter by the activity that you guys wanna see. And that activity can be pretty much whatever you guys want it to be, ranging from calls, emails, tasks, or even sending out LinkedIn messages. You can kind of do it all within the HubSpot's platform. And the cool part about this platform as a whole is that every Everything kind of works together. As you guys see, Steven Gonzalez is associated with this specific company as their national sales and marketing director. Additionally, we also see that there's gonna be a big deal associated with it, and that's named Big Money, so we can probably chase it down. But all the different things like tickets, payment links, different companies, subscriptions, payments, they're associated with a company, you can see right here on the right hand side. And again, all those things on the right hand side that you're seeing can be customized depending on what you guys want to see. Like a lot of businesses I work with have their QuickBooks right there. Kind of depends on what you guys are looking for. For. Majority of you guys' work, right? Sending out emails, sending out proposals, keeping company records in there. Boom, you can do that within one platform, and that's all you guys need. Because a lot of times, when you have different systems for one thing, and then you have a quoting system, and you have an email system, a lot of things get lost in the sauce there. And that way, keeping it all in one place can prevent things from slipping through the cracks. Depending on what plan you guys have, there's going to be a ton of different options there for you, ranging from campaigns to emails to even connecting your social media accounts, running your ads, forms, or even seeing buyer's intent and see exactly who is interacting with you guys' website. And the best part of it all is anything within the platform can be done in a simple drag and drop matter. So you guys don't need to know any type of programming or coding. You can easily do that just like modifying this email here. There are different drag and drop attachments you can add on the left hand side. For example, if I want to change team building here, all I got to do is just type in big money, right? Whatever you guys want it to be. Boom, you can modify it however you guys want. And what HubSpot allows you to do, even though this is going to be on the professional plan, is literally see attributed revenue based on what is bringing you guys dollars and what is not. And I've seen this a lot with other platforms where they only show you guys click rates and open rates. But with HubSpot, it can literally show you guys dollar amount and what has actually caused that person to actually convert and check out. That information is going to be really crucial because it's going to show us exactly what to double down on and what to cut short. And if you guys want to go ahead and modify and kind of figure out what type of reports you guys want to run, I would just go to the dashboard option right over here. And within the dashboards, you can combine all the different ports in there. So you're seeing them within one centralized place. If we go to the email dashboard here, there's going to be multiple reports when it comes to emails. So it ranges from email conversions to average response times to emails closed. There's going to be different things. You guys can customize it however you guys want. And that customization is going to be kind of reliant on what plan you guys are currently using because different things are available with different plans. Because look, when it comes to features, HubSpot kind of has them all. It has different things when it comes to automations, collecting payments, or hosting your website, hosting a podcast 
podcast, having your SEO being tracked, all the different stuff like that. But it kind of depends on what tier you guys are on. And because HubSpot has a lot of different hubs associated with it, they have their own unique features. So like, for example, you can have marketing professional while remaining on the sales starter. So depending on what hub you guys want, you can kind of mix and match depending on what you guys need. However, what I strongly suggest is to opt in for the starter customer platform because it's going to be only 15 bucks a month per seat if you pay annually. And if you pay monthly, it'll be 20 bucks per seat. But it has all the hubs at the starter level, which can be a lot, especially if you guys are starting out. And if you guys want to compare different plans side by side, like for example, if you want to compare a starter professional and see exactly which plan is going to be right for you, depending on what you guys are looking for, all I would do is just go to marketing right over here. If we're interested in the marketing side of things, scroll down and all the different properties and features that they have, you can see here side by side. And we don't really have time to go feature by feature. However, long story short, if you're trying to scale, if you're expanding your team and you need a little bit more of an automation when it comes to your guys' processes, that's when I would opt in for the professional plan. The professional plans allow you guys to automate a lot of your workflows and just making things a lot easier when it comes to attracting more clients and driving more revenue. However, if you guys want to play around with the platform without breaking the bank, I would personally opt in for the starter customer platform because for just 20 bucks a month, you can have access to all the starter hub features and it's going to give you a lot of features as you guys grow. So if you guys are a small business owner, let's go through some of the pros and cons. The first two things that I can think of on the pro side is the fact that HubSpot is an all-in-one platform and that way it's a one-stop shop for all your guys' business needs. So if you guys have a customer support team, a sales team, a marketing team, they can live in one place and that way they can have total visibility on what is going on with your guys' customers. And in addition to that, the platform is really simple to use so there's not going to be a steep learning curve. And not only does it provide very detailed analytics, but it can also scale with your guys' business so you never have to worry about outgrowing the system because a ton of large organizations like literally publicly traded companies use HubSpot's platform. Now in terms of the cons, the big one that a lot of people mention is going to be HubSpot's price. HubSpot is definitely not the cheapest solution and a lot of it just comes with how powerful the platform is. So if you guys are looking for a cheaper solution, I would check out another CRM platform. And the other big con that a lot of people mention and not sure if this applies a lot to you guys, but this applies more to the companies that have raised their series B or C is when it comes to customization, when it comes to anything programming related. And the other con I hear from people when it comes to the platform is going to be its ease of use. And even though the platform is pretty straightforward once you guys get a hang of it, like as you guys saw, everything is drag and drop, right? No coding required. There can be a lot of features in the beginning that require some learning. So as you guys are picking it up and learning the system across the different hubs, that's when it can be a little challenging. However, I promise you guys, once you guys learn how the system works, you guys are going to fall in love with it. And if you guys want to try out the platform for yourself, follow the link in the description for a free use of the CRM. And once you guys click on this link, all you got to do is just press get started for free. We're going to go ahead and create a new account. Go ahead and enter the email that you guys want to use for your guys' account. Let's go ahead and verify it. Press next. Let's set up our password here. Our first and last name. Answer some of the basic questions here. And it's going to allow the HubSpot team help you guys set up the platform. Our company name is going to be test company. It's going to be just us. And our website is going to be myfirstwebsite.com. And once you guys enter that information, you guys are going to be ready to rock. Now, depending on what you guys are looking for, you can have the system be geared more towards sales, marketing, and customer service. But if you guys want to customize the system deeper, I would just opt in for manual setup instead. So press skip here. You guys can also add your guys' teammates if you guys would like. And boom, you guys are going to be ready to rock. So in conclusion, yes, HubSpot is going to be a tremendously good solution for small and medium teams. And remember, if you guys want to try out the platform for yourself, the link is going to be in the description. On this channel, we make videos regarding different tools and platforms to help you guys start and grow your guys' business. So if you guys get some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace. Thank you.